been shown through the registries that there are still gaps that need to be filled because many patients do not respond satisfactorily to, to anti-TNF drugs. And then, of course, there are opportunities now with some of the new uh, biological agents that also come to the, to the, to the market, rituximab and, and uh, abatacept, and then hopefully also some other agents, for example, the interleukin-6 um, antibody, uh, tocilizumab, uh, later on. So, so there are an exciting time in rheumatology and a lot of opportunities for, for the patients. When the biologicals came to the market in 1999-2000 in Europe and US at least, then of course it was a new treatment opportunity for many patients with rheumatoid arthritis and later also for other inflammatory rheumatic diseases. If you look into the, the, the mechanism of action, uh, the, the effect is on the inflammation, but it's also on the bone uh, damage. So it has uh, reduced the radiographic progression, reduced the inflammatory activity, and these things have also resulted in uh, less in, uh, impact on the health-related quality of life.